Welcome to Cardiolics 2018. Would you Thank please you. introduce yourself? So my name is Professor Bamas Bamas. I'm a cardiologist in the United Kingdom, practicing at Keele University. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, could you possibly tell us about uh, some important uh, lifestyle changes that people should take? Yes, yeah, so I think often patients come to the doctor and expect the doctor to prescribe a magical pill um, and that will cure them of all their conditions. And you know, medications are important in, in the way we practice in treatment of conditions. I'm an interventional cardiologist and you know, certainly drug therapies are the cornerstone of management. But you know, patient outcomes are not just because of drugs. You know, there are important lifestyle changes, and this is something that I really strongly advocate to patients. You know, sometimes patients give the responsibility for their care to the doctor and say, "Doctor, give me a magic pill that makes me better." And I'll say, "You know, there is no such a magic pill. You know, a lot of the things are lifestyle changes. So smoking. You know, in Egypt, there was some very interesting data that showed that you know something like." 60 to 70 percent of all heart attacks are in patients that smoke you know smoking is incredibly high risk you know associated with increased risk of cardiac events cancer one of the biggest impacts a, a patient can make in terms of improving their outcomes is stopping smoking diabetes you know in egypt you have a very high rate of diabetes why because you know of, of obesity you know patients eat a lot of wrong food, so a lot of sugars, lots of cakes, um, and perhaps don't do as much exercise as they do. I exercise nearly every day, I run. Many patients will say to me, doctor, I don't have time to do exercise, I have a job, I don't have time. And I often say to them, well okay, you know, what do you have more time for? 20, 30 minutes, two or three times a week, or a heart attack? What, what's more important to you? And I'm not saying that you know, patients have to run, you know, you, you start slow. So your exercise may be walking for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If you go to a building, don't take the elevator, walk up take the stairs. The stairs. You know, simple things like this can make a big difference to patients. And you know, if you want to go to the shops, don't take your car for a five minute drive. Take a 10 minute walk instead. You know, every morning I come to Cardio Alex, I walk here from the Hotel Cecil, you know, a nice 15 minute walk and I walk back again, you know, 30 minutes, my exercise without doing, you know, a huge amount of effort, probably much quicker than actually going in a car with the traffic and so forth. So I think there's, you know, in medicine, patients come to us to help them, but there are many things that a patient can do to help themselves. If there is one piece of advice I would give to the organisers of Cardio Alex is that for the delegates, there are lots of cakes that they offer, and perhaps we shouldn't offer cakes, <laughs> but fruits, because you have some very nice <laughs> fruits in Egypt. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for your time. That is.